What's up guys, today we're talking about the controversial Apple AirPods and lookalike or imitation in the market plus unboxing the OEM AirPods. Is it worth buying? Let's find out. My name is Milton, welcome to Spoonie Bay. Alright guys, we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna open this right now. Uh, let's see, I'm pretty excited and... Whoa, look at this. Okay, I think... All this look doesn't look like Apple product, but uh, okay, it's in Chinese. And this is the AirPod. Is it supposed to be that small? Let's see what's inside. Okay, it does have a cable, nothing much. It's a uh, with wireless charging case. Okay, let's get out of the way. Okay, this. This is it. Uh, let's peel it off. Okay, look alike. All right, it's sticking out. Okay. First look. It's designed by Apple in California. Assembled in China, so it's like the original. Let's look at it. Oh, lights come on. And wow, look at this. I can see a defect already, look. There's a shape that's not good together. Okay, let's look at this one. I mean, the weight is not bad. It's, uh, yeah. You can see right away that this is not the legit one. But this light up, everything looks solid. I think they're hanging here. Okay. So the good thing about this is the build quality is pretty decent. It's, I wouldn't say it's easy pairing because there's some flaws pairing. Android compatible and it's definitely, definitely affordable. So for those people that really want AirPods, but you know, just cannot afford it, then there we go. You can just get it. It's, uh, I would say about 100 plus ringgit give and take and um yeah the, the quality wise it's decent i wouldn't say it's perfect as you can see the the molding it's uh that's some problem here you can see see that and this one same thing with this one well this one looks a little bit better so you definitely can see this is a knockoff immediately and the con side right now is uh poor bass quality so if you guys are talking about like a really high bass music then this is not for you but for decent just talk and uh, having a just a phone call or anything everyday usage it's not bad so and the other flaws is uh, in, uh, inconsistent battery info so sometimes you can see that um, it's 90 percent and it will back to like uh, 70 percent so maybe it's a software issue or something that needs to be updated i'm not sure and last but not least is the you can't customize on this and there's no there's no customize on the iphone and yeah so overall it's a uh, for my take i give it 6.5 out of 10. if you ask me if i would buy it personally i would definitely buy it because it's cheap it's affordable and for those that I'm a music lover i wouldn't recommend it all right, thank you guys. If you guys want me to compare this with another video, another device such as uh, the real AirPods, just leave a link below. What's up, guys? Today we'll be talking. No, no, Chad. So he's. Uh, we are just rolling the cameras, and then when I say action, you just go ahead. Yeah, it that's better. Yeah, it's better. Is it, is it better? Wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is it better? You think it's better? Yeah, I think it's good. Oh yeah, it's it, it looks yeah, like you're yeah, perfectly like, yeah. looking at the camera. All right, three, two, one, action. <laughs>